Hello, my name is Kenneth Matthias. I am majoring in communications here at Bristol. I participated in an internship this spring semester at WCVB Channel 5 Boston. The photo on the slide is me with news anchors Maria Stefanos and Ed Harding. As I had mentioned, I was interning at WCVB, which is Boston's news leader in the news media industry. The station keeps people up to the latest on breaking news around New England and nationally. I worked for the station as a sports intern where I logged professional sports games, reviewed highlights, and assisted the sports anchors with a variety of tasks. I also had the opportunity to practice writing rundowns and scripts for the teleprompter for off-air skits. During the class component of the internship with instructor Pam Brown, I really enjoyed the reflective journal assignments that we had to do each week because it had me reflect on the skills that I learned from being at the site. We also worked in class on updating my resume to ensure I'll have a better chance at getting the job I am looking for in the future. Pam was great at clarifying any questions that I had about assignments and made sure that I was meeting the deadlines that were given to me. This is my second time participating in an internship program here at Bristol. Back in the fall semester of 2021, I participated in an internship with Fun 107. From that experience, I was able to land an internship with WCVB. My tips for other Bristol students that are thinking about doing an internship while attending the college is to stay organized by keeping a detailed schedule of priorities. This was especially important for someone like me who was working a separate full-time job and balancing my responsibilities with my internships. It was also important for me that I carved out some time during the week to spend time with my girlfriend and my family. To stand out at your internship, it is important to connect with your fellow coworkers and ask a lot of questions relating to the industry that you are a part of. The skills I gained from being at WCVB were getting comfortable reading scripts from a teleprompter. I also had the chance to work on my writing skills by drafting scripts and rundowns. By talking to my colleagues at the internship, I was able to have a better understanding of the news industry. By gaining hands-on experience, I was able to take what I was learning in my classes and apply it to the internship. Interning allowed me to increase my professional network by connecting with anchors and staff, which will make it easier for me to take the next step forward towards my career. As far as my future goes, I will continue to pursue a job in the news media industry relating to sports, hoping to become a sports anchor one day. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my name is Carissa Gaborio, and I've been a student at Bristol Community College since 2017. And this May, I will be graduating with an Associates in Science in Office Administration with a concentration in Executive Administration. This spring semester, for one of my free elective courses, I decided to enroll in the internship program to have real life experience as an office admin. I felt as though it would be more beneficial to my learning skills and I could gain more experience, like a simulation to the real world. I chose to intern with the real estate industry because I had previously worked for a friend's mom who owns a real estate franchise. And with the minimal experience I did have, that opportunity is what helped me want to go back to school for office administration. The picture on the slide is me in the office in the agent common area. For my internship site, I chose Remax Right Choice, a real estate company here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Remax agents are dedicated to making clients' real estate experiences memorable and enjoyable. They have exceptional marketing strategies to help their clients sell their home quickly and clients will gain access to cutting edge mapping technology, current market stats and more. This year is also the last year they will be known as Remax. In August, they're ending their franchise and running independently as Right Choice Realty. My internship duties consisted of creating a how-to handbook to educate the other staff to use the software Lone Wolf a program that organizes their client data and accounts payable. This handbook I created will be helpful because when they transition from franchise to independent business, it will help reduce the broker's training workload. I also took the responsibility for preparing the conferences, formulating data reports, 
making packets for the staff and their clients, and I helped plan for their final awards night for the Remax franchise. The picture on the slide is the instructional handbook I created for the company. For the class portion of the internship program, there was an assignment that we had to do to develop learning goals, which helped me reflect on the skills I knew I wanted to improve. I enjoyed taking the MBTI assessment test as it helped me better understand my personality and working preferences that allowed me to effectively interact with others in the workplace. I enjoyed writing the journal entries as it helped me to express my feelings about each week's assignment and how they helped me during my internship. I successfully balanced my internship with other responsibilities by developing my time management skills, which is what helped me tremendously. Week to week, I was writing my assignments for each class that I was taking and not looking ahead. I had to compare my work schedule to what was posted on e-learning for assignments each week. I had to figure out what I could get done each night without having to stay up late every night. Each night I would split the workload into two to three hours. I did have some late nights because of the two other classes along with completing my internship hours and having a full-time job. I also have my own home and a dog to take care of. Knowing I had so much on my plate each week, the assignments needed to be divided depending on which days I work late. So the smaller assignments would get done on those days, and if I was getting out of work early, I would start the bigger assignments and finish them on the weekends if needed. While maintaining my school life and working full time, I am also helping plan my sister's wedding and bridal shower. As anyone who's been through the planning process of a wedding, it takes up a lot of your time and needs to be very organized. Being her maid of honor and the older sibling, my sister needed a lot of attention and I wanted to be sure I could be there for everything. Setting a schedule and ensuring my work was done first is what helped me stay on track and from falling behind. The pictures on this slide are of how I would make my lists weekly of my assignments for each class. And the other picture is the group I created on Pinterest to help plan the events for my sister. The biggest skills I gained during my internship, I feel, were developing my oral communication skills because I had to discuss and organize my thoughts before speaking because in my head I had ideas floating but couldn't make them make sense on paper. So being able to communicate effectively about what I thought would be a good strategy made the transition easier to explain. I really had to use critical thinking because when I created the handbook, I had to make the instructions as precise and easy to understand. Another important aspect of the internship was the ability to increase my leadership skills by taking the initiative to manage my own projects, adjusting their stock and storage rooms, and developing a breakdown of their sales volumes to create posters from the last six years to show during their conference meetings. I would highly recommend that other Bristol students take advantage of participating in the internship program before taking on a job in their field of interest, giving yourself time to test the waters. My advice to anyone who does choose to participate in the internship program is that they must do their research about the organization and understand what their company mission is to make sure it's a good fit. Similar to my situation, you will have the ability to develop written and oral communication skills, knowing how to handle situations that arise in, within your field interest or in the organization of your choice. Take in each moment to learn that each decision that you make will lead to the next one. The tips that helped me succeed with my internship was asking questions, informing my supervisor of areas that I can provide help in, and which tasks would benefit them to succeed all while teaching me something new. My goals from here are to focus on my new career in office administration and apply it in my next position from what I've learned in school and during this program. With this being my last year, a job posting was sent to me from a current professor. I applied for the office administrative assistant position with Anthony F. Cadero Insurance Agency in Fall River, Mass, and I was hired during my interview before leaving. I started my new job mid-April and I graduate this coming May. Thank you. Hi, my name is David Castles. I'm a student here at Bristol Community College majoring in engineering technologies and sustainable agriculture. I participated in Bristol's internship program this spring 2022 semester 
at Westport Conservation Land Trust in the great town of Westport, Mass. The Land Trust acquires and preserves natural resources, farmland, and wildlife areas for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. They currently have 12 properties around Westport, Massachusetts that are open to the public with nice walking and hiking trails. The trails are pet friendly, so bring your dog down. My internship title was Assistant Manager of Stewardship, overseeing development and maintenance of existing trails. I've even done a ton of bog bridging shown in the photos on the slide and the replacement of decking along wooden bridges. What I really found rewarding was seeing the progress of the trails and properties I've worked on, making them a better walking and hiking experience for all to enjoy. For the internship class component part of the program, one of the assignments in the class was a weekly reflective journal. This was really helpful to look back on my progress from start to finish. It gave me a perspective on how much I grew in such a short time. Being able to be in touch with the instructor, Pamela Brown, on a weekly basis was a welcome relief. She was able to keep us in the class on track with the assignments. When I first connected with the EEC at Bristol, I really appreciated Maria Friedman and the supportive staff that were there for me. They were there for me from resume building to helping me secure an internship to even making sure I was comfortable going forward. Creating a schedule is one of my greatest allies in this whole internship experience. It's certainly a tough task maintaining and keeping a juggle on school, my internship, and my personal life. Make a plan and stick with it, I say. Another tip for success is getting creative when handling your work. Maybe showing up early gives you an edge. Being able to jump on the day always puts you in the right mindset. Don't be afraid to take an internship. Life is about taking risks. A lot of those times, those risks pay more than money does. Connections are one of the most valuable things you can get out of an internship experience. From my internship, I was able to grow my knowledge even on my first day. On that first day, I was identifying and removing the invasive multi-floor rows from the trail systems. From building my leadership skills, I would on occasion be able to lead a team of high school students on their senior projects, helping with the bog bridging systems and with a hands-on approach to working in the woods. I took responsibility by meeting deadlines within a certain timeline, from measuring land plots and creating simple CAD drawings to getting sent on on my own to do trail maintenance. Being able to lead that team of high schoolers as well as working with the volunteers of the community Shout out to the Tuesday Trail Team. <laughs> Being able to take criticism and advice from my senior members of my land trust allowed me to rethink or rework any problems that may have occurred. The creativity to go on a property owned by the trust and recreate it through a computer-aided drawing to show the members of the trust board what the facilities wanted to change or work on. On the side, check out a sample of my internship. I created this drawing. My internship was a rewarding and fulfilling journey to take while I was still at Bristol. From the connections you make to the hard work you do, it felt good at the end of each day. If I had any advice for an incoming Bristol student, it would be to participate in an internship because the experience gave me the confidence to jump out into my field of study. Showing up to your internship early, making a lasting impression and working hard, you never know who you're working for. It might just lead to a new opportunity. As far as my future plans are, it's to be in the Army Corps of Engineers working on civilian projects, either on bridge design or even as a National Park Ranger. Thank you.